Well, I'm a real firm believer in the fact that great things aren't done, not because we can't do them, but we just don't get the right people together. And it's a matter of getting people together. It's about community. It's about collaboration. There's, it's impossible and incredibly uh, pompous to think that one person can come up with a solution for everything. We can't. We know that's wrong. It's a matter of getting multiple brains together, getting multiple people together, and sometimes people that you wouldn't expect to be put together. That's really exciting, and I find that exciting. So, okay, so what does that mean in a, in a technological age? Well, one of the things that's happened is we found commonality with people that may be continents away. I mean, I have more in common with people that live halfway around the world than possibly my next door neighbor. And it's this connectivity that's, that's created. And I, and I actually have a very uh, meaningful relationship with these people that, I've, that I hardly see in a physical space. So one thing that technology, and particularly the net, has helped facilitate is this lack of dependency on geography. The, the, physical, uh, the physicality is not as important as it was, say, back in the days where we didn't go over that hill. We didn't go to that next town because that was on that other side of that hill. Now that hill just doesn't exist. It's irrelevant. So I think it's in a way there has been a great facilitation that we're seeing people coming together. Uh, take scientific research, for example. 20, 30 years ago, you'd have that, that sole genius scientist that just did everything by themselves. Now you can have a paper, a scientific paper, with 30 authors. And in, the, in having those 30 authors, it completely changes the, the nature of that, of that collaboration. It's, it's really, there's different types of progress and different types of learning that we're coming out with it. So yeah, I think one of the things is that once we get uh, uh, past that individuality and it becomes more of a collective nature, I think we have some pretty amazing results that come out of it. I mean, science has already proven it. As we as we're have this culture of, of sharing and open source and things are much more open, well, relatively open, uh, one of the things that I'm also seeing is this ability to be further individualized and actually really customize things. So take television, for example. 30 years ago, you had five channels. That's it. Or maybe in some places, you had two channels. And you didn't have the option of what you wanted to see. Now, you get on YouTube, there's an infinite number of channels. There's millions of channels. And if you want to watch something that's only 4 minutes and 16 seconds, you could. You don't have to sit through a half hour program. And if you want to produce a 4 minute work, it's the, the, the options are there. Sure, does that mean that the number of audiences has increased? No, the audience, number of audiences is still the same. But what's really happened, the really exciting thing, is that we've individualized and we've customized this, this concept of customization. Uh, is, is really very important to personal identity. I mean, there's a reason why I want my house to look this way, why I want this furniture. I could use any chair, it's all chairs, but we want a very specific type of chair. And this, I think what's happened in terms of information, in terms of consum consumption of information, we've been given that, uh, that individualistic approach to it because we can have that customization. We, I, I can say, I want exactly this, 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 this. And 30 years ago, it was, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get this TV show. You're going to get 24 hours of, well, not, well, you're going to get two hours of this, and that's it. <laughs> we wouldn't even have 24-hour channels in most cases uh, 30 years ago. If we're going to stick our heads in our own little ostrich holes, we're not going to get very far. <laughs> you know, first, you know, if we actually take them out and get together with other people you can still re you can still keep your individuality but it's really that community coming together that really makes things happen I mean when I'm doing my work uh, a lot of my work because it covers so many different disciplines there's no way I can know everything about that stuff. that's just it's just not possible so I go out and I find people that really know their things and we get them together and then we create and we solve the problem together so it's a different way of looking at problem solving and creativity. And if you only have one person, chances are, yeah, you can have more than one way out of one person, but if you have a million people doing this, 